I think everybody thinks they've seen the original King Kong. Or they think they've seen enough to know what it is. It's that black and white big gorilla movie, right? And besides, if you've seen the new version, you've pretty much seen King Kong, right? No. What's so fascinating about King Kong is, well, there are many things. Part of it is the level of special effects in King Kong compared to everything before it. King Kong was a quantum leap forward in special effects. And I don't just mean that in the sense that, oh, they're better than nothing. I mean that if you watch that movie and if you really invest yourself in those characters in that situation, by the time you get to that island and you see those dinosaurs and you see King Kong, you are awestruck. It feels impressive even today you have to make allowances for what they had back then but it's really interesting also the fact that king kong is an emotive character now some folks suggest that it, it wasn't quite there yet um that it wasn't quite the level of character acting yet and i i can see that that argument but the point is that king kong felt like he had emotions. He communicated emotion in his facial expressions. Very simply, but you understood what he was feeling at any given time. And that's really important because this is not a monster movie in the sense that King Kong is a force of nature. King Kong is about abuse. It is about a character who is treated or an entity who is, who is treated poorly, and the consequences of that treatment. Um, and that theme kind of works its way through a lot of the movie, about how different characters treat other characters throughout the movie. People who, are, um, who behave poorly towards others often reap the consequences of that behavior. And that's the, one of the other impressive things, is how this movie is structured. When I saw King Kong, I thought, okay, I, I get it. You know, I know what this movie's going to be like. And then it spends quite a lot of time building up to that island and establishing its characters and giving you a feel of what's going on. And not in that sense of, oh, we don't have money for it, so we're going to save it towards the last 10 minutes of the movie. This is a carefully constructed film. And so when you get to the island and you hear about these things, and you, it builds anticipation in a in a way that feels earned it is not cheap and it's especially important because again it's not a monster movie it's about characters it's about who is on this expedition and why what are they what are they getting out of it and what is that going to do and one of the things i love about it is that you understand the position of everyone in this um, in this little expeditionary party, you empathize with all these characters. Even characters you don't necessarily like, you still see where they're coming from. They're not plastic or cardboard cutout characters, um, and neither are they incredibly deep, you know, Harry Lime characters or, you know, uh, Citizen Kane. But still, you see where they're coming from, again, in a movie about a giant ape. And then you get to the, to the island, and then you get to Kong and you realize what Kong is. And Kong, besides just being this, uh, this character, is also something of a cipher in the film. And it's, it's, what's so fascinating about it is that everyone sees Kong differently. Some people see him as a god. Some see him as a, a, an animal. Some see him as a money-making opportunity. Some see him as a creature with feelings. Some see him as a, a horror, as, as, a, as a monster. And in a sense, they're all right. You know, uh, King Kong simply is and can be uh, you know, approached from lots of different angles, but all of those angles have consequences. And consequences for a lot of different people. Now, granted, it's a movie of its time. There are um, <clears throat> uh, native tribes... To the island that are very very broad stereotypes and make me uncomfortable um 
that said, I must say that the movie treats them as certainly simple, but as on the right track. Like, you know, they are not presented as, as um, uh, hopelessly dumb and, and uh, um, you know, idiots. Kind of the point of the movie is that they were doing the right thing with Kong. <laughs> you know, that they, somebody should have listened to them. Um, so, again, I'm not defending that portrayal, but um, at least they were trying a little bit uh, on that score. Um, and there are also elements around, like, how women are, are, are shown um, and other things about the movie that are um, uh, not great. Um, so, you know, not defending any of that. I'm, I'm saying that there's other things to this film that are impressive. Um, so, yeah, I, I find King Kong to be... What's impressive about it is, for a movie from 1933, which was very early in the period of, of movies, and... I like old movies. I like black and white movies. But even this is pretty early on. Like, movies were just moving out of that stage of being basically stage plays with a camera, you know, uh, set in front of them. And this holds up. This is a blockbuster film that is so carefully put together that it, 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 it it's engaging. It is an adventure. You reach the end of that film and you feel like... I have been brought out of my life for a few hours into a completely different context. And oddly, because of when it was made, now just the real life periods feel like they are, you know, a completely new world. It feels like you are getting to experience what it's like in 1930s New York, which is kind of cool. That there's, um, you know, there's this completely different, you know, city that you get to experience for a while, it's not like uh, you know, modern New York. So I love uh, original King Kong. I think it's absolutely worth checking out and, and looking into. I will say, if you're going to watch it, this is one of those films that's worth not watching on your phone. You know, find a reasonably uh, you know large place to see it so you can you can get that sort of sense of of, of epicness out of the experience. It doesn't have to be a movie theater. That's a that's that's a bit of overkill. But yeah, this is a film to immerse yourself in and to, again, rewind time a little bit, understand that this is a, from a, a, uh, a period where effects just don't look the way they, they are today. But man, this is an impressive film.